Hello, good people of YouTube, Mountbatten here, and today we're going to be going over some changes to some test ships and some ships that are currently in game. But before we do, once again, I have set up a Patreon if you guys would like to support the channel there. All the proceeds there will go to buying ships to review and, well, the blooms to convert XP to review ships like the Paulo Emilio, the Slava, and and the Ohio, all those ships cost quite a bit to convert all that XP over because, like I mentioned before, with my full-time job, I don't have time to regrind those lines and get those reviews out on time. So anyway, again, if you want to support the channel, please go check out the Patreon. The link is in the description down below. Alright, on to today's development blog release. So, I'm going to read straight from this if you would like to follow along the link is in the description down below if you want to check out the article for yourself which i do recommend you do link is in the description down below as well so i'm going to read straight off from it and then i'll give you guys my opinions on what's changed so st.9.10 balance changes and changes to test ships we've changed the characteristics of several ships having analyzed their combat performance and taken player feedback into account such changes were required to carefully adjust the balance of selected warships We'll continue to introduce changes in the updates that follow, if deemed necessary. This dev blog also features changes to, changes to test ships, Italian battleships Hizen, Plymouth, Strasbourg, and some other ships. Please note that all information in the development blog is pre preliminary and subject to change during testing. Any showcase features may or may not end up on the main server. The final information will be published on our game's website. So here we go. Hawkins, Tier 5 British Light Cruiser. Main battery reload time reduced from 12.1 to 11.7 seconds. Uh, no, actually, I actually think the Hawkins is the heavy cruiser, my bad. Um, implacable Tier 8 British CV. Bomb parameters were changed. Maximum damage increased from 4,900 to 5,100. Chance of causing a fire on target increased from 28 to 29%. Tallinn Tier 8 Soviet heavy cruiser. Main battery reload time re reduced from 13.5 to 13 seconds. Detectably ranged by ships increased from 14.24 to 14.54. Other detectably ranges were increased accordingly. Riga. Main battery reload time reduced from 14.5 to 14 seconds. Detectability ranged by ships increased from 15.04 to 15.34 kilometers. Other detect detectably ranges were increased accordingly. Petra Pavlos, detectability range by ships increased from 15.4 to 15.8 kilometers. Other detectability ranges were increased accordingly. So, with the Petro and the Riga and the Tallinn, I know they increased their detectability range not that long ago in order in order to get rid of stealth radaring. And it seems that they've increased the range even more now, so I guess you really, really can't stealth radar now. Um, before, I think the range was like one kilometer more than their de than their detectability range so there's like that a one kilometer cushion uh where they could radar and you would be well within one kilometer of the radar range which would be like 13 kilometers so now i think they're just i guess they're just trying to push that out even even further now all right we adjust the parameters of the following ships based on test results italian battleships andrea doria francesco oh god <laughs> carcilio Tier 6 and Tier 7, the exhaust smoke generator consumable was removed. With this change, the features of Italian battleships branch will become more pronounced while progressing along the branch, and the differences between mid-tier and high-tier ships will be more noticeable. No duh, they don't have the exhaust smoke generator. Okay, Italian battleship Cristoforo Colombo, Tier 10. Horizontal firing angles on both sides of the aft end turrets were reduced by 10 degrees. Sigma parameter was reduced from 1.6 to 1.5. Deck plating thickness reduced from 55 to 50 millimeters. So that's some pretty significant changes there to the Colombo, with the firing arcs of the uh, yeah, of the rear turrets reduced by 10 degrees. Ah, that's that suckish. So you're going to show more side to get those turrets off now. And Sigma being reduced from 1.6 to 1.5. That's now uh, worse. Worse than the Palmon. Palmon has 1.6 Sigma. So 1.5 Sigma on, granted, 16 guns firing sap. With a pretty long reload time. And now worse firing arcs. 
So got got the old German treatment there, crappy sigma. Well, the German treatment isn't really the crappy sigma. It's the the dispersion that's crappy, but the the horrible firing arcs. That's definitely a German trait. Okay, the Leon, the tier six. Italian DD. Torpedo tube reload time increased from 47 to 75 seconds. Oh, that's a big change. Normally, Wargaming's been going with more uh, small changes to ships now, but that that's actually a pretty significant change there on the Leon. Plymouth, the Tier 10 um, Belfast. That's a British cruiser, by the way. Engine settings were changed. Now the ship will gain and lose speed in the same way as the cruiser Minotaur. Main battery reload time reduced from 16.5... I'm sorry, from 6.5... To six seconds flat okay so um yeah so now it's gonna be like normal British cruisers that accelerate and decelerate extremely so slow, slowly that's what you'll see a lot of British light cruisers make is that they'll pop their smoke too soon and their ship won't have time to slow down so you'll see them actually just cruise on out of their smoke and just get blapped Belfast 43 main battery reload time increased from 9 to 10.5 seconds that's now much longer than the actual Belfast. His in the Tier 9 Japanese Premium Battleship. Main battery firing range reduced from 21 to 20.3 kilometers. Main turret traverse speed reduced from 4.5 to 4 degrees per second. Detecta detectability range by ships increased from 16.3 to 17.38 kilometers. Other detectability ranges were increased accordingly. So the his in, I mean, these are some fairly significant changes, but not like, you know, nerf bat changes. Um, nothing too extreme, just some, you know, some fine tuning it seems like. But I'm still very interested in the his and I've seen it in game. It used to be a really interesting ship, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Alright, tier 9 Z44, that's a German DD. The angle at which the check for ricochets is made for AP shells is reduced from 60 to 45 degrees. Guaranteed ricochet angles for AP shells reduced from 67.5 to 60 degrees. Arming threshold increased from 19 to 21 millimeters. Strasbourg. Reload time of the main battery reload booster consumable increased from 120 to 880 seconds. Main battery reload time increased from 21 to 24 seconds. Ooh, my Strasbourg, my darn Kirk. So, looks like they had to chill out with the uh, main battery reload booster and give it a whole another minute to its uh to its re to its reload time which i mean if you ever play the dunkirk which in my opinion is a good ship its guns do hit very hard and if something gives you flat broadside it will absolutely slap the living crap out of it so i can see why they would add a whole nother minute to the Strasbourg's uh, main by reload booster cooldown time but this is now a three minute cooldown time and most matches barely lasts eight nine minutes now so you only have about if you know if it doesn't go a full length match if it's been like the matches i've been having recently you only get to use this like twice a match now so that's that's something and the main battery reload time increased from 21 to 24 seconds i mean that's still that's that's still a pretty quick reload time but you know you don't have main battery mod 3 module that you can slap on there so you are stuck with that reload time unless of course you have a drill and rush which most captains take because it's a good it's a good captain skill and with the armor of the Strasbourg which is of course just the Dunkirk's armor yeah you're gonna you're gonna get a pretty quickly reload time pretty darn fast and even though it is a tier 7 they have buffed the armor accordingly just again the whole layout of the armor isn't that fantastic all right Mysore, this is the Indian cruiser, tier 6. Remove the ability to mount the propulsion mod 1 upgrade. AP shells, arming threshold, and fuse arming time were reduced to value similar to the AP shells of British light cruisers. Arming threshold reduced from 25 to 12 millimeters. Fuse arming time reduced from 0.025 to 0.005 seconds. Alrighty then. Seemed like they reined it back from, um, I guess what it was before, which I'm guessing wasn't just a carbon copy of. What was a carbon copy of? The, um... Ah, god, the Fiji? Was it was it, was it a carbon copy Fiji? But, like, tweaked a little bit, but now it's gone back to that? I don't know, I'm not that I'm not that savvy on British light cruisers. German aircraft carrier Werner Voss, Tier 10. Parameters of the skip bombers were updated. Okay, thanks for that information. War game, that's literally all they say. <laughs> so the big takeaway from this is that the Italian BBs 
won't have exhaust smoke generator at, at tier 6 and tier 7. Um, that's kind of a buzzkill right there. I mean, I, I guess I can see why, because exhaust smoke at tier 6 and tier 7, that, that's kind of nutty on a battleship. Exhaust smoke on a battleship in general is kind of nutty. But seeing it get removed from tier 6 and tier 7, you know, mm, that's, eh, not sure how much I like that. Actually, you know what, I don't like that a lot. But, again, with how close the engagement ranges are at tier 6 and tier 7, it was... It's probably being abused quite a bit, and again with that sap that they get, that battleship caliber sap, you know, you're just a cruiser or a DD chugging along, then suddenly the the smoke screen just annihilates you, and you know you're maybe maybe within you know, just three or four kilometers of it, and of course because of the smoke screen, they're they're not spotted till after they fire. But again with battleship caliber sap, after they fired, if you're in a light cruiser or a destroyer, you're probably already dead. <laughs> But yeah, and the, the Colombo nerfs, uh, mm, Sigma being dropped to 1.5, you know, I, I haven't played Colombo because again, not a CC or anything, but I would really like to see what its dispersion is like in game before they continue to drop the Sigma down. And they can't really drop it down much lower because 1.4 Sigma, you know, you're closer to secondary Sigma at that rate now rather than actual battle ba battleship Sigma even by like German standards because now it's below the Palmer but again it does have 16 guns that's a whole lot of guns and they are well 15 inch guns but that's a whole lot of guns you know and the reload time is longer too so the only thing I think they can do if the ship is still too powerful at this point with sap they're going to have to keep adding on to the reload time which is already up uh, very long by tier 10 standards so yeah but like I said, it's going to be an interesting time seeing what they're going to do with these Italian battleships. And it looks like maybe it's just a Colombo they're having tr problems with balancing at higher tier. Because the tier 8 and tier 9 aren't even mentioned in this article. So maybe maybe those cats are doing okay and the Colombo is just having to get reined in with it. Again, it's an insane amount of sap shells. But anyway guys, that's what I think on all of this. It's, it's not too much of a nerf to the, to the Colombo. But again, that Sigma drop especially in battleships sigma being dropped hurts hurts a lot even well especially when you have a reload time like the colombo and the tier six and tier sevens uh getting their smoke generator removed you know again kind of a buzz kill not the biggest fan of that ever but we will see where this continues you anyway, know guys let me know think in the comments down below Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Again, please go check out my Patreon. That link is in the description down below. If you liked the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 20,000 subs. We just passed 17,900 not that long ago. And I cannot thank you guys enough for that. And guys, hope you have a wonderful Friday. Hope to see you here tonight on the live stream from 5 p.m. U.S. Central Time through 8 p.m. U.S. Central Time right here on YouTube and on my Twitch channel, which the link to that is also in the description down below. Again, guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope to catch you guys in the next one.